Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Wizard 101 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So, today, um, my plan for today is trying to get finished with Colossus Boulevard. Um, we'll see how far we get. Still try to keep these things to about an hour or so. It's, honestly, that's about as long as I can, I can sit here and play. It's about an hour. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, tried to, we're going to try to get Colossus Boulevard taken care of. So, to get that started, we're going to see if we can make a deal with the Gobbler King. Anyway. Before we can actually meet the Gobbler King, however, we're going to have to fight his son, I believe. The Prince. Shouldn't be... Shouldn't be too bad of a fight, I wouldn't think, but we'll see. You'll have to get past me if you want to see the King. <laughs> we'll also be able to pick up the History of Ice Magic while we're here. Uh, uh, and be able to complete that little side quest. So yes, I was right. You have to fight Prince Gob Gobblestone, is his name. <laughs> Alright, he has a Gobbler Gorger minion, which is actually pretty good. Um, it's one of the, not the hard, not one of the harder enemies, 285. The Prince is, sits at a nice 600, which is a bit of a, bit annoying, but shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> So naturally, I'll start setting up on both of them. Um, let's see. Go ahead and put Death Trap on you. Probably try to take out the minion first, just because. So I'm going to need a little bit more. Let's see. Two, two ghouls. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ghoul. Use my ghoul. Um, just to get a little bit of health back as well. Because this is gonna hurt, I think. Okay, just a two. Just a scorpion. But that does hurt. to come out. I should be able to take him out. Yeah, I can take him out with a my with a uh, major I major life ire. Go ahead and finish that off. That's not great. Good, good. All right, that is the minion taken care of. Now all that's left is the prince. I've already used one of those, so I'll hit hit him with another death trap. Okay. Still painful. That brings us up to 65 additional damage. I won't be needing that. I can pr I can probably survive the next uh, couple turns. Ooh, good a banshee. Um, I actually should be able to take him out with the banshee now. So let's see what we can do. Nice. <laughs> Prince taken care of. Now nothing is stopping us from going to talk to the king. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab the history of ice magic. In the first world, the children of Lady Nightstar, the grandmother Raven, battled constantly. Titans they were, embodiments of ice, fire, and storm. Their conflict shook the world, but by the time of the spiral, only their offspring remained. 
giants were the descendants of the Ice Titan, who used his power to create frost castles from frozen clouds. Like their ancestor, they battled the dragons on the ground until the wars decimated both races. The giants retreated to the world now known as Grizzleheim, where the few who still remain rule the frigid realm of Winter Tusk. Very interesting. Well, at least I, I, I like to think it's interesting. I don't. Th I don't think there's any bed uh, any decorations in these places to pick up. Um, yeah, you never know. Uh, there might. There might be something. I'll check before we head up. More just to pick this stuff up. These do come in to play at some point. I actually don't know because I never got far when 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 I played when I was a kid and. About a year ago I never got far enough to know what the purpose of these chests were I think it has something to do with mal with Malastare though like I'm pretty sure on that I want to see if I could t if I could take his uh take the throne but nope so let's go ahead and go talk to the king a tiny wizard Hello, tiny wizard. Have you come to surrender your city? Absolutely not. You want us to leave? Oh, no. No, no, no. My people love it here. We shall call this city New Gobbleton. If you prove to be good servants, perhaps we shall let the tiny wizard stay in New Gobbleton. Here is my royal decree. You pick up the royal decree to take back to Mindy Pixie Crown. Yeah, that's gonna go well. Yeah, the way the dungeon works, because because there is a second area that you travel to in the dungeon, it'll ask you that every time you leave. Ooh, a silver chest. I know it's a silver chest because I've done this one before. Let's see. Last time I did it was shock and lock. Maybe it'll be keys this time. Nope, shock shock a lock. Cool. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's that complete. I like I, I, I just I like to finish it off to get every block uncovered. Because why not? Sometimes you can find stuff that'll speed it up a little bit. Uh, speed up the charge running through. Definitely one of the easiest ones, or the easier of the two games that I have encountered. Let's see, last time I got a Fire Elf, got a Death Trap card, and a Snow Serpent. Not. Not interesting. Anyway. Was there... There she is. The Gobbler King wants us to surrender Wizard City? Big problem. Big problem. I can't believe the Gobblers are trying to claim Wizard City. We need to tell Headmaster Ambrose. Take the Gobbler King's royal decree to Headmaster Ambrose. See what he thinks we should do. Naturally. How much do we need next? Okay, just over 600 experience. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this spot, because I'm gonna have to come back here, so. Let's teleport, teleport, teleport away. Let's see about refilling our mana before we run off again. And one more should do it. Excellent. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, while we're here, while we're in Wizard City, let's go ahead and go talk to Boris, since we we have collected all of the books. He has, I think, one more thing. It involves talking to the various um, spell trees, but we'll see. You found the books on the ancient history of magic? Let me get my notepad out and uh, tell me everything you learned. 
Wow, that's a lot. Gonna need a minute here, pal, to process all that. Okay, I'm good, but all the answers in those books just bring up more questions. Like, what happened to these titans? And what's with the sentient plants? You've seen them. The trees with the faces in Ravenwood. Every school has one. Except Death and Balance. Well, Death one's in Nightside and ba the Balance tree is in Crocotopia, so... But what do they do? What are they for? Why don't Death and Balance have one? People have a right to know. We need to get the straight dirt from the horse's mouth. Meaning, go ask all the trees themselves. <laughs> While you do that, I'll study the books. Live tree or die. Instead of live free. I like it. So that is that. This will also help us... Actually, this will help us level up, so... Nice. I hope you will... I hope you can indulge me for a second. I'm gonna... I have enough mana to do one... To do, like, one fishing attempt. So I'm gonna do that before we level. Yeah, sometimes like sometimes the fish will just immediately turn away away from your lure. It's annoying sometimes. There we go, Ice Kuda takes me down to one. And that should be all I need. Let's see. Um I think I think I'll be fine because I don't want to I don't want to trigger trigger um, Bartleby's dialogue yet. I think I'll be fine if I just if I don't walk up to his platform. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, I think I'm fine as long as I don't walk up to the platform there. What are we spell trees? Why we are the offshoots of the great grandfather tree. He who with his sister grandmother Raven, sang the song of creation and wove the spiral into being. Life magic in particular resonates with that song, uses its chords and verses to stitch wounds and men's spirits, to heal a fragmented world. And the titans responsible for that sundering? They were lulled to sleep by Bartleby himself. May they sleep evermore. Alright, that was the life tree, now the myth tree. We spell trees aid in the invention of new spells and the crafting of treasure cards. I am the tree of myth. Mine is the burden to remember the stories of old heroes and monsters. It is from these tales that misspells are born. Speak to me to learn recipes for misspells. The other trees hold similar recipes for their own schools. Yeah. And now we skip death because the death school is not here. I don't actually remember if they want us to talk to um, the death tree or not. They might. Uh, again, I don't remember. It's been a little while. It's def definitely been a little while since I've done this. What's cooking, wizard? Oh, I think it's me. I am raw fire, after all. Undiminished by any contradictory forces. Huh? Oh, all magical schools have an opposite. A school to which they're vulnerable, but against which they're strong. Fire melts ice, but melted ice douses fire. Similarly, life and death contrast, as does the creativity of myth with the destructiveness of storm. Balance? Yeah, I guess we do all sort of balance each other out. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> no, we're, he was asking. We were asking if balance had something that was strong against them. And the answer is... Not really. Balance resists itself, as all schools do. But as I've said before, they take additional... Uh, the balance, balance creatures typically will take a small amount of additional damage from the spirit schools. Life, death, and myth. 
not sure why. Yeah, I'm not sure why um, the elemental schools don't do anything to them. It has something to do with the fact that you know balance magic t is typically harnessing elemental forces. Yeah, because most of their spells that do a lot of their spells will either, either do like pure balance damage, or they'll do sometimes storm, sometimes ice, or sometimes fire. But anyway. How long have we been here? Oh, as long as I can remember. I don't know if we are the first, but these are the only spell trees I've known. Well, except for Mortis, the spell tree of death. I hear he came from elsewhere, but I know not where. Alas, he is perhaps, ironically, dead. Destroyed with the death school in Malister's tantrum. So we cannot ask him. Yeah, they still don't really know that he's a night side, but that's okay. So, wizard, Calvin told you about Mortis and that he came from elsewhere. But Blossom said we all came from Bartleby. Confused? Well, both are correct. Bartleby's roots stretch invisibly to every world in the spiral. And in any of those worlds, spell trees can grow. Yeah, because I know, I know there's a spell tree in Dragonspire that you can visit. I don't know if it does anything, but... A balance tree? I've never met one. It's possible one is out there somewhere. You need only to look. Yeah, we'll eventually find it. That is that. Let's go talk. Go back and talk to Boris. Get this out of the way. This should complete Boris's little quest line. Um, again, it's been a little while since I've played the beginning of the game, so I really don't know what I don't remember everything. Let's see. Boris likes to jump to conclusions as well, so... You talk to the trees? They think the death tree is dead. There may be a world of balanced trees. See. Myth is weak against storm? What a scoop! <laughs> Jeez. This will make for a great article on the history of magic. And don't worry, I'm happy to share a byline. What was your name again? Fantastic! Till next time, pal. And that's that. Alright. Now, back to Ambrose. Pretty close to level 14. What? This decree doesn't even make sense. It's just pictures of ice cream and chickens drawn in crayon. <laughs> Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly. The gobblers may be a larger problem than we realized. I hate to ask, but you need to go duel some of them to test their strength. That's fine. And we want two gorgers, two gluttons, two munchers, and that's it. Not too bad. So, munchers first. And not these guys, these are scouters. Yeah, yeah he wants us to fight the, obviously, the strongest variants of them. So you'll get like, um, here's some gorgers. Let's go ahead and take them on. Don't need that. Okay. 
Um, yeah, why not? Not, else, not much else I can really do. So let's go ahead. Alright. Banshee. I probably should have Bansheed that one, actually. Definitely should have hit that one, but it's okay. I could have been using my Wi Fiers, but don't really see the point. And it's no big deal, you know. I finally got a power pit. I was wait kinda of what I've been I kept waiting for was a power pit. Completed. Oh, I had a I had a daily quest for those. Nice. Hmm. Your gravulum badge is giving me a yellow reading. Hecron concentrations there are low. Good work. Just a bit of gold. We'll take it though. All right, next are gluttons, which should be on the other side. Gluttons and munchers should. should both should both be on this side. Okay. Munchers. And then gorgers are on the other side. Definitely don't need either of those. Let's go ahead and use a faint, I guess. So he's taken care of in terms of stuff like that. So let's go ahead and use another one over here. Fire shield. Nice. Okay, 285. He has ice, so he won't take so he won't take additional damage. Um, additional bonus bonus damage. This might be enough. <laughs> it's definitely enough now with the critical. Very good. Let's see. Should be enough. Should be. Very good. All right, and last but not certainly not at least, food. Um, what are they? Gluttons, which are also ice enemies. This would go so much faster if I had a if I had an AOE attack. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use another death blade, a standard death blade, because I'll use Banshee on my next turn. And this way, I have one set up already. Definitely hitting you, though. Going up to a third pip? I don't think so. This will stack with the one I currently have. That brings me up to 70%. Ooh, yes, yeah, see? Level 3 spell. Evil snowman. <laughs> but it's ice, so it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, I am going to go ahead and death trap. That should that should be enough to take these guys out with a ghoul. We'll see. Another basic attack from them. And ghoul. So let's see. Oh, and a crit. Awesome. I love when that happens. Alright. That is that. I'm just gonna go ahead and go right back to the commons. Actually. Okay. So about 240. Nice, that will level us. Awesome. So I'm going to go back to the cons again. Please indulge me. I'm back up to three energy, so I can do, again, one more chance at fishing. I just, I, I'm, I'm very much one of those where I like to use all of that as efficiently as possible. Um, and since I'm about to level, and when you level up, it completely refills that gauge. You know, it completely refills your energy stores, so. That, and there is a, um, an event going on that you get points for fishing with. Oh, really? It's gonna turn? Alright, let's try this again. Right in the center. Nothing? Oh, there we go. That is that down to zero. Very good. Good. Now that we know how strong the gobblers are, I have a plan. Please deliver this letter to Mindy Pixie Crown for me. Your hard work will pay off, I promise. Headmaster Ambrose hands you an official looking document. Oh, that didn't... Oh, I guess it's... Is that not the end of the quest? Ah, huh. okay. Interesting. I kind, of th I kind of figured that would be the end of the quest there. Eh, whatever. Because yeah, turning it into Mindy isn't the end of the quest either. Because hmm. I know you have to fight... They want you to fight two bosses, but I don't think... I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see, won't we? Pixie Crown reads the official looking document. I think this plan will work. 
There we go. This plan calls for challenging the Gobbler King's two closest advisors, Baron Greebly and Baron Rotunda. Dueling isn't my strength, so <laughs> you're the only one who can do this, young wizard. They're each hiding out in towers, one at each end of the street. Defeat them and see what the Gobbler King has to say then. Which is basically the which is basically the end of Colossus Boulevard. Um, taking on them t those two because you don't because you don't ever fight the Gobbler King. Um, so anyway, we have Greenbly or Greebly down here and Rotunda up here. Honestly, doesn't really matter who you fight first. I'm gonna go with uh, Rotunda. Yeah, I'm gonna fight Rotunda first. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the teleporter to the perch. Just to get it to him a little bit faster. Like I said, we hit level, what is that? 14. Very nice. Once we hit level 15, 15, that's when some things can start changing. But that'll have to wait until we're, I think, at least a little ways through um, Crab, Al Crab Alley. Which is fine. Alright. Let's see. I don't remember I don't remember what uh class these guys are. What rotunda. You've is. come to take away Ice. my treat? That's fine. I can't allow that. To battle. I think the other one's a life boss. Five fifty. That's still a lot. I'm just glad these guys don't really tower shield. Yet. That's a thing. That's a. It's an annoying thing with ice enemies. Is in later worlds they'll start using something called. Um, Power shield, which just cuts all damage in half by 50. Very annoying. <laughs> very, very annoying sometimes. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and Banshee the Gobbler Glutton. Hopefully, it does enough. <laughs> Gets rid of it. Gets rid of it. All right. I don't need that. I'm actually not sure what death trap I have on him. I think I think it's this one. So I'll go ahead and hit him with this one. Yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot which one it was. Actually, no, you know what? I am going to faint for this one. My opponent is down to one pip, so... Oh, he's going to shield. Okay, fire shield. And, let's see. A ghoul should be enough for this. enough but he's gonna pass cool so I can just life fire him Which again, I believe is a life boss. So that shouldn't be too bad. Alright, head back to the teleporter. 
pick up some red wisps while we're at it. There we go. Another chest, perhaps? Nope. Take this one and to the Baron Tower. And do a quick run around just to make sure there's no reagents or a chest like that. There's a deep mushroom over here. Nice. Anything else? Anything else? No? No? All right. Wait. Nope. All right. Now it's Greebly's turn. Is it time for dinner yet? Yeah, both of them. You are. look like you would make a good stew. Get over here. Well, that's kind of dark for a family game. Gonna eat me. <laughs> like, don't eat me. All right. For this fight, we're gonna be focusing heavily on just. I'm gonna be focusing on the Baron. The 150. I can just hit a hit him with a ghoul. So let's see. I won't be needing this. Go ahead and light. Go ahead and death trap. That. I'm actually going to get rid of probably two of those as well. I'm going to go ahead and ghoul to take out the minion. I know I said to be focusing, but I didn't pull any other buffing spells. Oh, jeez. This one. Another skip. Surprising. Go ahead and Death Blade so I can do my Banshee next turn. <laughs> All right. I admit I was kind of expecting a Leprechaun, but nope, it's an Imp. to the Troll King? Or, <laughs> Troll King. Go right to the Gobbler King? That's cool. Um, I th think I have to fight the Prince again. I'll check. I mean, going in, the Prince will be there to be fought. Like, you can fight, you can fight him again, obviously. But I don't know if I have to. I think, I think I do. Because there's a gate, there'll be a gate in front of the door. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there's because there's a gate in front of the door that I can't get through. But I'm gonna check. Yep, gotta fight the... Gotta fight the prince again. That's fine. That's fine. And we still get to go first. Awesome. Uh, definitely gonna go ahead and faint turn one. He's going to what, buff himself. Yeah. And a skip. Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's go uh, let's go uh, all in. That brings us up to 105. Oh, he actually fizzled. That's actually not great for me, because that's gonna whatever he's gonna hit me with is gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, 
Big hits. Big damage. Okay, power pip. That's great. 600. We're at, what did I say? Um, 135 additional damage. That's, this won't be enough, so I'll go ahead and blade. Playing a dangerous game here. just to finish this off. Excellent. <laughs> Alright. That is the prince beaten for a second time. What did I get? Oh. The gobbler chaser defeat 25 gobblers. Cool. Alright. Now to go tell the king what's up. So Wizard is back. Are you ready to surrender now? You tell the Gobbler King about your battles with Barons Greebly and Rotunda. What? You defeated them? I find that hard to believe. I'll have to send someone to find out if what you say is true or not. Just as the Gobbler King is getting ready to call, a messenger breaks into the room. Sir, the two barons have been defeated by a student wizard. What shall we do? Toady, seriously. <laughs> That's funny. Oh dear. What you said is true. Then that means no gobbleton, a wizard city, is yours. Spare me and my people, wizard. We mean you no harm. I ask that we are allowed to stay here. Our old hall was filled with witches, and we are too scared to go back. I promise we will not eat so much. You have my word. <laughs> every time, yeah, you have to. It'll every time it'll pop up with that message. Oh, there we go. Just took it a second. Amazing, young wizard. You have brought peace with the gobblers. You've done a great job. Be sure to tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said. Now I can get back to my project. All right. And that is Colossus Boulevard completed, I believe. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure no side quests popped up after you completed the majority of it. But no, it's just that one little one we did in a previous episode. So that's good. Alright. Yeah, you do get a wand. Yeah, you do get a wand for this. Um, for completing this. Um, for completing uh, Colossus Boulevard. It's a staff, I think. But it's also pretty weak. My plan worked. Oh, that's excellent news. You tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said about their home world. My, my. I certainly don't want to force them to go back to a world where they aren't welcome. Very well. We will let them stay on Colossus Boulevard. It appears we have new neighbors. All right. We got another badge for that. Master Diplomat. Yeah, complete all quests on Colossus Boulevard. Awesome. I'll check that out real quick, just to see what, see what it looks like. It's the... yeah. I think I used that at one point. But yeah, it's a level 5... it's a level 5 wand. Gives you... I mean, it's not a bad spell. You know, the one I have only does 5 more damage and is not my school, but... still. 
Not great. Yeah, not... Not great. Why did I pick this up? Oh, that's from something else. Anyway. So that is Colossus Boulevard. The next order of business that I, we will be getting to in the next episode is heading to... Again, not you. But is heading to Crab Alley. So we'll have to go into Triton Avenue, talk to... Our good friend. Actually, you know what? Let's. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wrap it up here. Um, let's head to Old Town. Yeah, we're gonna head to Old Town because that that is where you know. There's a few things I want to do. In, there's a thing or two I want to do in Old Town before I before I head into um, um, the new location. Crab Alley. It just wasn't coming to me. But yeah, there's a couple things I want to do uh, while I'm in here. Whoops. Wrong one. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Sunblade. Need to go talk to him to gain access to Crab Alley. Which is where we'll be getting a lot of experience. Like I said, we're level 14 right now towards you know, the beginning of level 14. By the time we leave Crab, Isle Crab Alley, we'll at least be level 16. Maybe closer to seven, maybe even closer to level seventeen. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. But anyway, like I said, this is where we're gonna wrap things up for the episode. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.